So you're basically, your game is like, be a cool high value guy and talk. Problem one is that these girls are only seeing you once, they're not seeing you over and over and over again. If these girls like saw you at work or saw you in school and saw you doing stuff not with them that was impressive and cool, they could get a crush on you from afar and that could actually work to your advantage because you really are such a high value guy and you come off well. Um, but the other thing is that typically even then, the girls wouldn't express it to you because they don't feel permission to do so um, unless you establish premise on some level. Right? So even in a social circle context, they'd probably be too nervous. They'd be like, oh no, I'm probably misreading signals. It'd be weird. And so they'll just sit there having a crush and not tell you. And if you don't do anything and they don't do anything, it never goes anywhere. Right? If you're just acknowledging that she is a girl. Right? So one, one form of premise is just some kind of compliment, some sort of like, you are different than the average person and I want to talk to you. But that's still friend to friend. But as soon as you acknowledge that she is female, you know what? Like you, you're probably like the coolest girl I've met randomly on the street in the last 10 minutes. So there's levels, right? Stranger to stranger, friend to friend, man to woman. Friend to friend is a whole lot better than stranger to stranger. Man to woman is what you eventually want. But friend to friend is a nice bridge to man to woman. It's like a safe bridge to get you there. But if you keep it going too long, then you have to undo it. Undo. So if you've been friend to friend, if you've been a little bit friend to friend and then you show some man to woman, the friend to friend serves as a bridge because you went from, you started as stranger to stranger, you've gone a step closer and you've gone a step closer. Does that make sense? Because yeah. friend to friend is closer to man to woman. On the other hand, if you go stranger to stranger and you go friend to friend and you stay friend to friend, friend to friend, friend to friend, friend to friend, friend, to friend for like a week, and then you're like man to woman, now you have to backtrack all that friend to friend because you created this whole other expectation. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. So the one, it's a, it's a transition to the other, right? Yeah. So if friend to friend is a transition to man to woman, it's great. If friend to friend becomes the established nature of the relationship, now you have work to do to un unwind it, right? And so early on, one of those like, oh, I like that in a girl. You're like, ah, oh, that's sexy. Right? That's sexy. That's another, that's another yeah, yeah. thing. Adven yeah, you're adventurous now, you know. Okay. Yeah. Being adventurous can be sexy. You don't have to say that's sexy or that's sexy, but you know, being adventurous can be sexy. Right? You know, some people find it but being adventurous sexy. Just saying something like that. So doing these kind of things, these I call it like implied premise or related premise things, they're not actually establishing premise for you, but what they do is they buy you more time to establish premise. So if you had none of them, if it was completely dry and platonic, and then you didn't establish any premise, the set would go flat very fast. If you have a lot of these like related premise or friend to friend premise things and have an established premise, it buys you time to eventually get to the premise. But you still have to eventually get to the premise. Still has to happen sooner or later. That makes sense?